Tonight, are recruiters that bad? Do they actually tell you the truth? Do they lie to you? Also, I answer some of your annoying as repetitive questions. All this and more on the Trio Merchants. Nostradamus was a white man's prophet who predicated Europe. So a lot of you guys want to know what recruiters you guys should be talking to or um, how to know if the recruiter you're talking to now is honest with you. And to be honest, you never know. The only way you can know if the recruiter is actually being honest to you is to just find out yourself is by talking to him. Maybe talk to other police that have talked to him and um, see what they uh, the recruiter has promised those other police. The recruiter seems kind of sketchy, like he keeps like whatever you ask him, he's like, oh yeah, sure, we'll do that too. Oh yeah, we'll do that too. Then maybe you'll be kind of, you should be kind of hesitant about it. By the way, this is like my fourth time recording this video and I I wanted to upload the video before, but I was like, dude, this, it's not gonna work out. So I just, I'm gonna upload this one much better because I look better and it sounds better too, also. Um, on to the next question. All right, so let's see here. Thank you for my lovely assistant, Eliana. Hi. I said thank you. Huh? You're welcome. All right, so now let's go on to the questions. Um, I set up post on Facebook, on my Facebook page to see what kind of questions you guys might have. So, Let's see. Alright, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but it's Cheerio with two E's, not one E and two R's. Because that makes it sound like it's saying Chorio or Cheerio. And kind of sounds like diarrhea in Spanish, which is Chorio. <laughs> and also it sounds like Churro, like that tasty food. Nick Gonzalez, talk about you being an explorer for Orange PD. All right, well, I was an explorer for the Orange Police Department for about four years. I up sergeant, and it was kind of easy. It was pretty easy to, um, to pick up that rank. It wasn't that stressful, I guess, compared to the Marine Corps boot camp and stuff. You actually also, in the Police Explorer boot camp, you go into like a little, I think it's like a couple, like three-day boot camp or whatever. So... Yeah, Danny Ramirez, I was told by a recruiter that someone with 12 plus college credits could essentially leave basic training as a PFC. Is this still true? Could you answer these questions? Shario, please. Yes. Ja Janet. I could answer your question. Janet. Um, yes. You just have to talk to the recruiter and ask him like um, how many credits does it take because sometimes it varies on the credits and the type of credits. Um, also, sometimes if you are a JROTC, sometimes you also get a contract PSC. I was told by my recruiter that I could switch my MOS after four years. That is actually correct. Um, I was told it was two years. I tried to switch my MOS in two years because I tried to um, go into an infantry unit. I, I was trying to go into the 0311 MOS, but at my two-year mark, I was already a corporal, and a two-year corporal going into the 0311 field and, and telling like three-year, four-year lance corporals what to do, I mean, it wouldn't really play out well for anyone. So I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to my MOS. Can someone get their day changed to leave sooner to boot camp? You can by asking your recruiter um, or even depths. It all depends on that, dude. Honestly, I don't. Sometimes they used to offer bonuses. So like, the earlier you, the earlier, you, the earlier that you got to ship out, the m the more money you got, I guess, or something. But they offered you a bonus if you got to ship out early. But also, once again, if they offer you a bonus, make sure that you see it on paper. Because what's the worst that can happen is, let's say you enlist in California and then you. Uh, like lap move or they send you to MOS school like in West Virginia or something and then you get stationed in North Carolina you're never gonna see that recruiter again and even if you go talk to IPAC or anyone any administrative person they're gonna be like well there's nothing that says here about your uh, about your bonus or anything so well, there's nothing we can do about it so like I say get it on paper and make sure that 
everything is set in stone when they, if they offer you any bonuses to leave early. But I know that it is possible. You just have to ask your recruiter and see if there's spots available. What should I take to the recruiter the first time I go? The night before, get some questions, write them down about anything that you have, any kind of questions you have about the Marine Corps, whether it's how much you money you get, um, the benefits, the educational benefits, and the type of units that you may be stationed at. And um, also, what kind of MOSs that you prefer. Yeah, that's just for the first time though. That's the first time that you'll be talking to the recruiter. After that, they'll tell you to either bring your high school diploma or your uh, high school diploma or, or um, your ID, driver's license, social security number, and stuff like that, but that's later on. Also, um, Amanda Beza, Amanda Baeza, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. But um, she's also becoming, in the process of becoming a Marine. She ships out next year in October, and um, she's pretty cool, she's all right. Um, what's it called? I've been helping her out, and she's been pretty nervous breaking the news to her dad, because her dad's also a Marine, and doesn't want her to join, or didn't want her to join, and stuff like that, so. It's pretty funny. I want to give a shout out to all the people that are sending me links to their videos that uh, you guys want me to give you guys a shout out to the, your videos and stuff. I mean, there's so much that I could do right now. Um, I know there's a lot of you that are actually making videos and that's a, an awesome, awesome thing. Don't ever stop making those videos because you're going to look at those videos and be like, oh my God, I was a freaking nerd back in the day. So keep making those videos, guys. Um, uh, I don't really have anything else. Ellie, do you have anything else? Anyways, um, that was all for my show. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like or dislike or share this this channel. And by the way, the music in this video is by Immortal Technique. I'm a big fan of him. And there's a lot of reasons why. If you guys listen to his music, you guys will know why. So. With that being said, uh, make sure you guys post a funny video, like um, someone shared, shared with me that uh, recruiter video that I showed you guys. So if you want, if you find a funny video, make sure to just leave the link somewhere and I'll pick it up and I'll look at it and I'll laugh and I'll be like, okay, it seems pretty funny. I guess I'll share it with you guys. So anyways, that's all. Thank you. Subscribe and I love you all.